The universe is full of stories, but some are written in a language we're only just learning to read. In late 2024, astronomers spotted a faint purposeful smudge of light, 3i slash Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object to visit our solar system. At first it looked like just another comet, a frozen relic from the birth of some distant star. But 3i slash Atlas was different, it wasn't just another data point, it was a puzzle that defied expectations. Most objects in our solar system were born here, but sometimes, a true outsider arrives, an interstellar messenger, like Oumuamua and Borisov before it. These rare visitors are precious, offering a direct link to other worlds. 3i slash Atlas however was more than a sample, it was a mystery that deepened with every observation. Its behavior didn't fit our models, it challenged the very physics we thought governed comets. Imagine centuries of studying sailboats only to see one suddenly sail straight into the wind, that's what 3i slash Atlas did. It wasn't just reacting to the sun, it seemed to act on its own, raising questions that reached beyond science fiction. This discovery forced astronomers to reconsider what comets are and what they might become. 3i slash Atlas didn't just pass through our solar system, it shattered our assumptions. It sparked conversations usually reserved for the wildest corners of scientific imagination. The universe it turns out still has surprises in store, and 3i slash Atlas was one of its most astonishing messengers yet. The story of 3i slash Atlas is a testament to our drive to explore, to question, and to wonder. Comets are supposed to be simple, ice, dust, and rock shaped by the sun's heat. As they approach the sun, ice sublimates forming a glowing coma and a tail that always points away from the sun, thanks to the solar wind. But 3i slash Atlas broke the rules, astronomers saw not one but two plumes, the expected tail, and a second fainter plume pointing directly toward the sun. Imagine sand blowing into a gale but some of it streams back into the wind, that's what 3i slash Atlas was doing. This sunward plume defied all known forces, solar wind should have made it impossible. The plume wasn't random, it was a stable, focused jet, as if something was actively pushing material against the sun's pressure. Scientists scrambled for explanations, magnetic fields, volatile pockets, unknown physics. Nothing fit. The sunward plume was more than a curiosity, it was a direct challenge to cometary science. For centuries, we've relied on the interplay between solar energy and cometary ice. 3i slash Atlas was the glaring exception. It was as if the comet had its own engine, generating a counterflow against the sun. This single feature forced us to consider ideas once left to science fiction. 3. I slash Atlas wasn't just a passive block of ice, it was an active participant in its journey. The rule book for comets was out the window. We were left staring at a cosmic anomaly unsure what to believe. The comet's behavior was unprecedented and the mystery was only deepening. 3. I slash Atlas had thrown down the gauntlet to science itself. When the universe presents a mystery, we respond with our best technology. 3i slash Atlas became a top priority target for the world's most powerful telescopes. Hubble Space Telescope confirmed the sunward plume capturing its structure and stability in stunning detail. Hubble's data showed something was pushing material out with sustained force. On the ground, Gemini South in Chile used spectroscopy to analyze the plume's composition. The results were shocking. The plume was almost entirely ionized gas a plasma, not the usual dust and neutral gas. Then, the James Webb Space Telescope joined in, using its infrared vision to study the comet's nucleus and gases. Webb's sensitive instruments revealed a chemical signature unlike any comet ever studied. Each telescope added a piece to the puzzle. Hubble showed what was happening, Gemini revealed how it moved, and Webb uncovered what it was made of. Instead of clarifying the mystery, every new observation made it stranger. This global collaboration was a triumph of modern astronomy. Yet the answer remained elusive, hidden in the strange light of a comet that refused to play by the rules. 3i slash Atlas united the world's astronomers in a race to understand the impossible. The deeper we looked, the more enigmatic it became. The James Webb Space Telescope's data only deepened the mystery. Most comets are rich in water ice with some carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide, 3i slash Atlas however was releasing far more carbon dioxide than water, suggesting it formed in a much colder alien environment. The real shock came with the detection of heavy metals, especially nickel, in the sunward plume. But there was no iron. In nature, nickel and iron are almost always found together. Finding pure nickel without iron is like finding a beach with only left-footed footprints. It suggests an artificial process. This chemical fingerprint was unlike anything seen before. 
theories struggled to explain such a peculiar makeup. Was 3i slash Atlas a fragment of a differentiated planet? Even that couldn't explain the perfect separation of nickel from iron. The evidence pointed away from a simple natural origin and towards something far more complex. The comet's composition was a clue, a message written in the periodic table. 3i slash Atlas was not just a rock, it was a chemical enigma. The evidence was mounting, a sunward plume of ionized nickel, a chemical signature of refined metals and behavior that fit no natural model. The plume acted like the exhaust from an ion drive, technology we use in our own spacecraft. Could 3i slash Atlas be an artificial object, a probe using an ion drive for propulsion or course correction? The idea was extraordinary, but it fit the facts. Scientists explored every natural explanation, but none could account for the stable, focused jet or the absence of iron. The artificial propulsion hypothesis, while speculative, was the simplest explanation. The possibility that we were witnessing alien technology transformed the investigation and our sense of place in the cosmos. The comet's trajectory was as strange as its chemistry. Instead of a simple arc, 3i slash Atlas took a complex path, using gravity assists from Jupiter, Mars and Venus, just like our own space probes. Such a sequence is astronomically unlikely for a random interstellar object. Each flyby seemed deliberate, as if the object was gathering data on the most interesting planets. Statisticians calculated the odds. The path was too precise to be an accident. Combined with the possible ion drive the trajectory looked guided, optimized for exploration. Was 3i slash Atlas sightseeing, mapping or searching for something? The realization added urgency and excitement to every observation. We weren't just watching a comet, we might be witnessing an ancient sophisticated explorer at work. The solar system had become a stage for a cosmic visitor with a mission. As 2025 ends, 3i slash Atlas approaches its closest point to the sun, perihelion. This is the moment of truth. Will the sunward plume intensify, or will the comet break apart? But just as the drama peaks, the comet slips behind the sun, hidden from Earth for weeks. We're left blind at the most critical moment, a cosmic cliffhanger. When it re-emerges, everything could change. If 3i slash Atlas survives, still firing its plume, the case for artificial origin will be nearly undeniable. If it's gone, perhaps it was just a bizarre natural object after all. Either way, the discovery will be monumental. We've followed this messenger, questioned its nature, and now we wait for its return. The universe is holding its secrets close and humanity is watching breathless for the next chapter.